Did that same one? Okay, we're putting custom wheels on a 2014, nope, I mean a 2022. And. You have to pull it out. Pull the tire back. <coughs> Can't go back. You got the brake hanger in there. I gotta get it back so I can pull it out. There we go. For the belt. Okay. You gotta put this brake hanger in first. Cause it is a pain to try to get it in there. You need to lower the jack. What the fuck's this? Where'd you get that? Mm -hmm. hurt yourself. I'm gonna steal this one, could Uh-uh. You're my baby girl. I can have it? No. I'll give you this and this though. Lower the jack. Good, Ryan. I want to see the Chinese ones are any good. Yeah, they're bad. They ain't going to be no worse than Harley. <laughs> Jim ain't made by Harley. That's the reason they're such good carburetors. That's why I mean. it ain't going to be any worse. Maybe. What size was it? The Chinese ones not bad, huh? I don't know. I've never put one on. This size. Been thinking about putting one on, though. Just to test it. Yeah. Once you buy it, I'll put it on mine. I'll let you know. Once you buy it, I'll put it on yours. <laughs> I got one on mine. I don't really it's, know. A real, it's a real one. How do you know it's Huh? How do you know it's not too bad as a carburetor? You got one. You look, I'm, I'm talking about I got the real one. <laughs> yeah, but I'm talking about the Chinese one. Mm -hmm. Not the Japan one. You put one on a... Uh, so you, got, you have to put a spacer between this brake hanger and the frame. I hate these newer frames, the way they've got the, this all set up is real pain. Grab a, probably a 10 millimeter wrench. We gotta back this adjuster out. You need a 12 point? The wrench is 12 point. We're in the process of spacing this wheel. I know this wheel looks like crap because we had to fight a tire on it. These low profile tires are, do not like these wheels. And uh, we haven't wiped the soap and hand prints off of it, so get it on here where we can spin it around, and then we'll clean it up. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is this how start trying to clean the actual covers? No. That's decoration. You get on that bike and start it, it's real hair in funny places and your voice has changed. Really? Yeah. yeah. If you get real right. Pretty good or bad? Pretty good. If you get real right, you grow his head. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I started now, I started sprouting new hairs. I've been working that. I got a few more <laughs> This bike's also getting handlebars and painted, custom paint. Hey, you can buy you some new stick on deals on the TQT moon? Yeah, I seen them. I, I thought about investing them. <laughs> what I'm doing now is backing this adjuster out so that we can get this axle through get without having to fight it. Forget what they call This Wait, adjuster no goes against that bushing that I just slid in there. <clears> I got a little stuff I carry on these shows with me, and we recently got our wheel. These are real pain. Now, these are only about four or five dollars. I got one in the shop. The house. Full, full week. So we're looking pretty good there. We don't know exactly how much we've got to space this thing yet. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Right there. We're gonna put some grease on that, or we're gonna fight it in and out. Take it over and put some grease on that axle. 
Loop that up one of those little cooters. Yeah. Not like a little bit off. <laughs> Main reason we have to figure out how to space this is this brake when it goes on, it's only got so much movement back and forth. So when we get the brake centered on the on the rotor, then we know where the wheel has to set over here. And we can come in on this side and finish the spacing up over here. But we may have to slide a small washer in just to make up a little bit of difference because we want the brake cylinder to fit, or the brake rotor, we want these pads to be in the middle of the caliper. That way, when the caliper floats back and forth, it's got room to go either direction. If you get this to one side or the other too much, it's gonna put pressure on one side of this rotor and it'll eat a rotor up in no time. Oh. Okay. Someday the mountain might be Dead ball, Ryan. Oh. And this brake hanger is not much fun. I hate these things. Right now, I'm going to move. There we go. <laughs> back in. Okay. Bruh. Start coming through that axle slowly. Okay, keep going. Go ahead. You all the way through over there? Okay. Now we need to put this brake on, bolt it in. We are going to need a Is it torch. No, it's a half inch. Grab a half inch ratchet wrench. Jack this up a little bit so we can get the wheel off the ground, just enough to twist it. It's a lot easier if you take this exhaust bracket off, but we're trying to shave time on this a little bit. Once I get it in enough, I can put the ratchet wrench on it, but I gotta be able to slide that ratchet wrench between that bracket, so. Is 
Check it's because it's spacing in or what? No, it's not. Exactly. It's going. It's free with Is that a rubbing? You rubbing? All well, right. the brake on the... The brake's not set flat yet. This really surprises me how tight that bolt is. It's not... It's not cross-threaded. It's just hard to push in. I didn't look at the bolt. There we go. You know, I'm going to polish this wheel. I'll start it. You're going to start it and put it in here? And hold a rag in here. That's safe. Yeah. That's OSHA. Safe enough. Yeah. Safety third. Yeah. Mm. OSHA would love that. Okay. We got a little bit on this. We got a little bit of a. We we'll probably need to back that axle out and There's one more trip. Let me let me find the right one first. We got some different thickness on these washers, and these are not. These are there. These are not what you'd call Harley made, but the deal is we're putting custom wheels on a 2024, so everything has to be respaced. Man, let's try this without a spacer in it at all. Forehead. It may tighten up once we get the nut on. If it does, then we'll have to put, space it. But right now, I'm not seeing a, enough of a issue to even get a washer in there. Where'd that? The piece that I handed him to test on the axle. That's what you were doing. I caught it. Did you catch that? I did. I see you leaning that way. There's right here. There, we'll be in a bit. Give it a twist over there. I got this bracket, boy. Right. No, I said it to myself, so I remember. <laughs> Let's try it right there. Okay, we're still free. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh. We're still free. Go pump that rear brake up. Let's get the center of everything. Okay. Slick as can be. I thought you said it's gonna be hard. Well, you lied. <laughs> the first time I lied to you. This never moved. Sure. Yeah. But she did. Nope. Okay. Came off. She pulled back on. One, two, three, four threads. They've been the same way for 120, how long was it? What did they do Milwaukee 8, 2018? About 120 years. Uh, now they put a air in it. The only thing benefit I see is that is if you're stuck in traffic. That's it. I don't know. Now you got the jugs though. You can get the jugs with the fans on them to blow on the motor. I just turn mine off. It starts to get hot. Yeah. Click. Sturges, get right to Sturges. Our best thing to do is cut, cut, down, man. cut the lanes. What I like to do on these, when I got them in this position, I'll take Can you shut up and kick start? the belt right now. <laughs> we'll move the camera here in a minute. Take the run back across that. Okay, now you can see right here. 
we're off the back of the pulley. I just want to get that adjusted enough to get it off the back of the pulley. Make sure it's a wheel spin spree. That way I'm not putting any undue wear on this belt. Now the thing is with these wheels, these new belts, it's impossible to get a custom pulley with the right size. So I want this to naturally try to run in the center without it for some pressure on each, either side of the pulley. So we're looking pretty good right there. Wheel spins easy. Brakes aren't, go, go hit the brakes once. The brakes aren't touching the rotor until you hit it and then it locks up, so. And now we're gonna let, uh, Scooter's gonna start it and Ryan's gonna stick his hand in there with a rag so we can polish that wheel real quick. Stand by for the ambulance. We don't have an ambulance around here. Yeah. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe everybody to Iron Blackbird Cycles. Hit the notification bell so you know when something else is coming up. And uh, this bike here is gonna shortly be painted and new handlebars put on it. We got the bars on, we just don't have them wired yet. So, anyway, y'all like and subscribe, please. It helps out the channel, thank you.